Welcome YouTube. This is uh, Broship the Nerds. This is Jack here. Uh, been here to do the first movie review of the channel. I'll go up first and I will be doing Venom. Yes, Tom Hardy's Venom movie, which came out last month. So yeah, it's been a month, but I just finally saw it. So pardon me, I didn't have anybody to go see it with me because... Well, Viper didn't want to go see it, so... And Angel, who you guys don't know who that is, you'll find out eventually, um, didn't want to go see it either, so uh, I was kind of on my own on that one. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. Mostly, we're not going to do a, was it a good movie, was it a bad movie. There will be spoilers in this. Because it's been out for a month, so I don't feel bad about saying spoilers, you know. Spoiler warning, just in case. Spoiler warning. So don't go down in the comments and complain to me because I said something that's spoilish. Because there will be spoilers. Because certain things I'll have to talk about. That's, yeah. Close card seats. Now, I did miss one of them, but I do know what it is. And it wasn't anything important to the Venom movie, so I just don't care. So I'll skip that one. But there were two postcard scenes. But I only got to see one of them. But okay as I was saying. So basically how I'm going to do it is. Was it entertaining? And then I'm talk about some of the things I think worked in the film. Some of the things I think didn't work in the film. Which I don't think really in my opinion. There were a whole lot of them. But okay so. Now I'm going to start now. Was it entertained? Yes. It was good. I enjoyed it. I thought the way they handled things without handling the Spider-Man character was very well done. They did it right. We didn't have no emo P Peter Parker thing, as my little brother happened to mention. Uh, he didn't go see it with me, but uh, he said one of the reasons why is because of the Spider-Man theme, emo Peter Parker. I'm like, well, there was no Peter Parker to turn emu. <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. But I think, as I said, I think it was very well done. Well, the dynamics between Eddie Brock and Venom were very well done. But, unfortunately, I did fall asleep during it. I'm going to be honest. The start of the movie, very slow. It takes a while to get Eddie to the point where... Now, I'm not saying that this was bad. I don't think this hindered the film by having the slow start. It wasn't... I want to say it took a good 20, 30 minutes before he actually gets the symbiote. But then once you get the symbiote, this is not a uh, Godzilla 2014 thing where you only see him for like five minutes of the film. No, you see full realized Venom majority of the film, which is nice. You know, he does come Venom quite a few times, even a few times you don't see in the trailer. He does take the Venom form, so it is quite nice. And I like, they did mention it. Venom's two weaknesses. Well, all, all symbiotes, including Carnage. Moron. Uh, there are two uh, weaknesses. Sound, above a certain decimal. Which was mentioned in Spider-Man 3, but we don't mention that film. Just forget that film ever existed. Because, yeah, that was terrible. And then, Fire. Which was not mentioned in Spider-Man 3, by the way. But yeah, so they do mention that. And it does kind of uh, take on and how they take down the villain at the end. Which is the Riot symbiote. Which is also Carson Drake was the human version, of course. Because it does help having a human adversary as well as a... And that's another thing. He didn't just fight the Riot symbiote. You know, it wasn't... Eddie Brock had a foil in Carlson Drake, who ends up being the Riot symbiote. If you, I'm sorry if you didn't know that. I'm sorry. But yeah. But some of the best parts of the film, I'm sorry, that were funny, but I don't think the uh, producers and the director, when they made the movie, or the scriptwriter, meant them to be funny. But you know what? They were funny. Oh, well. Was the interactions between Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and Tom Hardy's Venom. He did voice for both. It was actually pretty funny. All right. So, 
So yeah, so it's very well done. I mean, how they set up the foil in the beginning of Eddie versus Carlson, and then bringing in the Riot symbiote and having him join with Carlson, it made it a better film. And how they stepped around the Spider-Man thing. Like, they didn't give Venom the Spider-Man symbiote. The spider thing on his chest. I'm assuming that if they make more films, because they haven't officially greenlighted a sequel yet, if they make more films, if they ever actually are able to combine the uh, Venomverse, as we're going to call it for right now, and the uh, MCU Spider-Man films with Tom Hardy, the two Toms, um, uh, eventually that he would get that, you know, white spider symbol on his chest. But for right now, he doesn't have it, which is fine. He sees some veins. It looks kind of badass. Venom looks good. Venom looks like Venom shit. Yeah, Spider-Man 3. I'm tired of talking your Venom again because it was trash. Trash. Like, I can't even completely blame the actor on that one. I mean, yeah, but okay, maybe I'll do a retro review of Spider-Man 3. But I do enjoy Spider-Man 3, but there are issues. Just like, this film isn't perfect, but some of the things that are wrong with this film, they couldn't have fixed, you know, like... The stuff being funny that wasn't meant to be funny, I could see why that would, you know, be an issue. It is an issue, especially with, like, you know, like, critics, but, and I am not one, of course, I'm just a fan who makes videos on YouTube and gets paid zero dollars. Yeah, zero dollars. Well, new channel, but still, zero dollars. But, um, uh, but the thing with it is, um, you know, that, oh well, if people think it's funny, it's funny. But yeah, it's just, the dynamic between Eddie and Venom is great. Um, the love interest, which, I mean, you can't really call her a love interest. It's not like she, he ends up with her. But I think they're giving a longer arc. Like, one of the things that this movie did not do is, okay, the end of the film, yes, they set up a sequel. But that was in the end credit scene. Not during the actual film itself. Like, there was no hints in there of making another one. The only hint they had was, end of the film, Venom's still, in, Venom's still with Eddie. You know, still in his head, still, you know, around. Even though they thought he was dead. <laughs> but besides that, there was no real, you know, like, hey, here's this setting up the next, um, you know, arc, you know? It's besides the... Venom going, she belongs with you. She belongs with us. <laughs> thing, which was funny. Um, besides that, um, besides that, there really wasn't anything set up for a sequel, you know? I mean, they left it pretty open, which is nice, you know? Too many films are trying to make franchises here. No more franchises. Well, no more no, trying to directly make franchises. Because it's annoying. Um, I'm trying to think here. What else do I want to talk about? Crap. I need to write shit down, but my problem is it's best for me to get home, start filming, and everything. So, uh, yeah, so, crap. Okay, might as well talk about the elephant going into the film, which is, do we see Carnage? No, we don't see Carnage. Which is plus. We don't even see the Carnage symbiote. The red symbiote. We don't even see it, which is good. Do we see Cletus Cassidy? Yes, we do. At the very end, there is a closed credit scene of Cletus Cassidy talking to Eddie Brock. Going in, he Eddie Brock, he's a reporter. He's going in to interview Cletus Cassidy upon Cletus' request. Ironically, and he's being played by Woody Harrelson. I don't know if they're going to do a recast for the next, if they make another movie or not, but... And he had this wig. Oh, God, the wig. God. I like Woody Harrelson. He's a good actor. He plays crazy very well. So he'll definitely be a good Cletus Cassidy. But the wig... The wig was true. She's... I mean, it was almost bad as... Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Jesse Eiberg's hair in Justice League and... Uh, no, wait, sorry. He wasn't in Justice League. Uh, Batman v Superman. Sorry. My bad. Jesse Eisenberg was not. Oh, yes, he was. But I don't think. But he was bald at that point. But yeah, Jesse Eisenberg's hair in um, freaking Batman v Superman. Atrocious! I mean, there's bad. Some bad wigs. 
Hi, Hollywood, you need to get some more new wig makers because your wig ideas are garbage anymore. Oh my god, terrible. Like, terrible. Like, I mean, to be honest, I could see why they did the wig though. I mean, because they didn't want to CG it because it's the end of the film, you know, real quick scene, you know, even the CG wouldn't, would still be quite expensive. So I could see why. But the god, the wig looks bad. But, oh well, I'll let that slide. But yeah. Was Venom a badass? Venom was a badass. Riot Zimbo, badass. Overall, the film was well done. It, they definitely didn't screw it up. They, they worked around what they could work around in the film. Beyond that, yes, I could see why some people would have problems with the film. I could see why some people say it's not a bad, it's a bad film. But it's not a bad film. It's entertaining. But it's not bad. Oh, trust me. I've seen worse. Yeah, Spider-Man 3, I'm talking about you again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but no, it's not... I think there's things that could have been better. If it would have been done by Marvel and Sony, like Sony helped out a little bit, Marvel helped out a little more, yeah, it would have been a better film. But, you know, it's here and over there. I guess, overall... As I said, it's a good film. I would suggest go seeing it at least once. Now, would I watch this film again? Yes, yes. Especially not right after watching Evil Peter Parker. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry I keep mentioning that, but that's the only live, other live-action version we have, so I gotta keep referencing that. Um, but yeah, so overall, two thumbs up. Definitely viable on DVD. Definitely rewatchable. Now, would I go back to the theater and watch it? Probably. But do I really want to? No. Peace. I'm out.